Right, hello again, uh, Pete here. Sorry it's been a bit of a while for me to get around to doing a vid, but I'm just not a great filmmaker, I don't think. Um, I'd first like to start off with a sh shout out to Seamus over there in Northern Ireland, who just does these incredibly illuminated trucks and models of all sorts. Really, really good. Um, just outstanding stuff. I really love his builds. Uh, so, a big thanks over to Seamus there. And really great builder. I know nearly everyone checks him out anyway, but, you know, just outstanding. I'm so chuffed to get a card from him. Uh, cool, mate. Thank you very much. And uh, going back to the old 37 here, I've uh, managed to get most of the front done. I don't know whether I can get that in. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? How about that for a shot? Um, as you can see, the... Uh, I've lowered lowered the radiator grill and have extended the front mud guards into a little bit of a curve there. And I'm in the process of blending them in. There's this lip around here that I'm going to add on with another strip all the way down to the front and then probably carry it along. Um, well, somehow I'll sort that out down there when I get there, but basically put on a new new lip. Um, I've added a bit of mesh to the inner fa the, the inside face to the grill because that will sit that way around, that way around. That will sit in there, and it was not detailed at all. And when I, when I opened up this grill, obviously you can see straight through it. I'll bash that all about there. Um, made a start on the engine, just uh, sorting out a twin carb setup. See if I can get that into the light. How about that? Uh, you know, drill, drill for the spark plug leads at the moment. I've got no time in water pump gear on it. Um, cleaned up my carburetors and put a bit of linkage in for that. I haven't put a spring on there yet. Around the other side, I've got the fuel pipe set up leading to the uh, fuel pump. Indeed, and then back away down the end, end of the engine casing. Uh, so that's a start on that, and then on to the main main body. Um, I bet my light. Ah, oh, that's good. See there, I've got a bit of filling in to do around that corner there. This has had no filler on it at all. From just it's just the sprue goo that's uh, ad adhering it together. And I've got a little bit, little bit of <laughs> stop rocking around that bloody dog again. Um. Another bit there, and of course around the other side there's a bit of clean up to do. Down here I've got all the parts for the hinges and uh, window frame. This is all window frame section going on down here, these curvatures and that. And I've still got to finalise the actual, uh, come back, pillar, you know, dimensions and clean them up properly and then build the frame to fit fit what I've finalised with the, the pillars. Um, the roof the roof itself is cleaned up nice, but hardly a seam. I'll give that um, a guide coat of black paint over this to see what's what, but there's no point doing it down the sides yet, because I can see where it needs filler in the first place. I mean, look at that. Right, half a tube of filler going in there. Well, not that much, but... A bit of work to do on both those edges. Oh, and I'm back round to the doors. That one's kindly falling off for me because it's just jigged in there. I'm in the process of making up the hinges for these. And I've had to colour coordinate each one uh, because they're going to be like shoehorned into each, each pocket in the door there. If you can see that. And then have a pin. And I've boxed in the back where they where they'll actually locate like that. So you know they'll locate in those points, and I'll I'll box them in so as they don't wobble too much. The upper half of the door is a standard, uh, just a a piece of rod through a tube to each end. The hole in the centre. I've filled in the original one and drilled a new central hole for the uh, little handle that I've made, it's one of the, ah, oh, there it is, 
that little piece there will go through the door with the other piece uh, as a get off as a h-shaped handle right. and this is the locking mechanism yep that turn around that'll pop through the hole and then into the handle you know, the other side and I'll auction that to suit uh, what else have I got here that's the other other hinge fourth hinge on a pin I'm, I'll be using this copper wire as a, as a pivot pin um, they're just a couple of hinges that I started off with and then I'll, I thought I'll junk them and go for a smaller more discreet little pivot um, what else was there lying around here that needed mentioning no nothing really i've had a lot of time of just uh gluing things together the weather improves so i've been out on my bike um so I'll, I'll close this down with a bit more of seamus's great great truck there i love how he's done the interior as well you know he's printed decals for these things and now he's into 3d pro making whatever you call that the 3d molding thing that's great it's awesome anyway Bye bye for now. Hope you enjoyed this and I've not bored anyone. Thanks to Nigel, Charlie and and Greybeard walking over there as well. Look out for Barry T's new build. He has got a wicked woody. Man, this is terrific. Um it's an Oldsmobile. Some sort of late forties Oldsmobile. I can't can't remember off the top of my head. Sorry, Barry, I'll change the little doodad. But it's gonna be an incredible build. You've got to follow Barry T's garage. Anyway. Bye for now, bye all, and best wishes from jolly old England. <laughs> Ta-ra.